Hi guys, what's going on? It's Neil Bauman here with Parrot Key and some more tips on mastering mobile. If you haven't watched the first four videos, make sure you go and watch those. They just run you through the whole setup process, roof, exterior, all those things. But now we're moving on to the interior. I'm gonna show you how to inspect and estimate on site. Get it done, get it over with so you're not going home and working on the computer all night. And you're also impressing the client, the customer, whoever it is with your skills on top of that. So it's just, it's just better all around. So first we're gonna start off with our photos here. Now, I know nothing's really damaged in this house, but we're just gonna do a scenario here that a tree hit the front of the house. We got about 40 square foot of wall here damaged and then along with this corner here. It's a big old stain. So I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination with me. So get out my camera here. First, I'm gonna get my overviews. That's just how I work. You know, I'm an adjuster, so my brain works like that. I get to all my corners, shoot my shots, give you a good perspective of what's going on in the room and what's around you. It's just better for everyone. Then I get over to my damage photos, pull out the inspector stick, got the chubby buttons in hand, make sure I'm in the 0.5, which I am. You always want to make sure you get up close, because if you've got this 0.5, here's, here's the one zoom. One zoom gets it right up, that's what we're used to. 0.5 is what you should start getting to, it gets a better perspective. So make sure you get up and close, got that. Step back, and get the perspective. And all right, we'll say the ceiling's damaged too. Close up. All right, let me step back, get a perspective. And all right, perfect. Oh, I know we're gonna be manipulating the baseboard here, so another good uh, tool, or a good reason why we use this inspector stick. It's your baseboard measurements. Got it. I do this just to help myself. All right, now, let's get into the sketch. First, we wanna sketch the room get the shape laid out before we get to measuring it. So, and this room's pretty cut up. This room has some lower ceilings in different areas. So I'm gonna show you how to manipulate that. So, done. Grab this. You hit the plus sign, it will create another room, which I wanna do that for this because of this vent. This ceiling needs to be lower than the rest of the room along with that bay window. So I'm gonna show you why I did that in a second here. So all right, we got that. Here, let me. You label this living room. You can scroll down to it. I like to type it. Oh, whoops. Here we go. All right. And you can just make that a sub room of the living room, whatever you want to do. But let's get our measurements first before we go to that bay window. So activate that. Activate the grab bar. Grab your disto. Right here. There you go. Hit the little handle here, that snaps it to it. Now we want to get the length of the room. Come in here, activates the bar, we hit the arrow. So now we just come right here. Oh man, we, oh, we're pretty close. So now we know that this other wall is about to be the same, so let's bring that to that as well. All right, now we need to measure the width. Ooh. Grab the vertex there. You can get touchy sometimes. Right here. All right. Hit the bar. Got it. All right. All right. Now for this bay window here. I'm gonna walk up. Get my brake tool. Press and hold. Drag. Pop that out. Yes, I'm gonna make that another room. Now I need to use the uh, vertex tool. There. Here, text tool there. All right, now I'm gonna get my measurement. Hit this. Three feet. All right, I definitely know we got that width wrong. <laughs> That's looking crazy. There. Yeah, that looks a lot better. <laughs> All right, cool. Grab the wall. Missing wall and end, yes. Oh, we've got to do the vent over here. Missing wall, yes. All right, now ceiling heights. We know this ceiling is gonna be lower than your standard eight. 
So going to the ceiling, height. The disto is hooked up. A lot of people will get confused sometimes because it's kind of a glitch within this, uh, within Xactimate. Watch when I hit it. So I hit the measurement, nothing happened, right? But look down there, 610. It registered, it just didn't register it up here. So again, a little glitch with Xactimate, but it still works. So 610, so now that ceiling's done. Step out or click whenever you have a room selected and you want to go to another one, don't select another one. It's going to select both of them. Select out, click out, and then click into it. And we go in the properties, ceiling height. Should have done this while I was over here, but you know. Oh, actually, geez, way different. 6 3. <laughs> Glad I did that, huh? All right, cool. So now that's measured. Now I want to make these subgroups. Oh. Subgroup of the living room. Here. Subgroup of the living room. Cool. Now I'm ready to estimate. Over here, like I said, we were going to say there's about 40 square feet damage in the walls, 40 square feet damage in the ceiling. So I'm going to click the room. Tab up here. Going to my macros. So, again, y'all stuff will probably be different than mine, but we all do different things. This is giving you a general understanding of how we do do things. I got this one too. Like so, we got like hand texture, partial replace. I'm going through and deselecting what's up there. Okay, we got, we got fans, ceiling fans, no recessed lights, no smoke detectors, no light fixtures, no e registers. Add all that. And then walls, I just go down right in order. Walls, we got partial replace. Uh, no crown, no chair railing. Baseboard's three and a quarter. There is some base shoes, we're gonna add that. And then the floors, got a nice floor macro. Floor, no, this just masks and covers it and does a final cleaning. So now I wanna go in my inventory. This shows me what's in the room that I put. So now I'll go through and do my little edits here. I do everything in my macros. I save them at 32 square foot increments. So we said there was 50 square feet damage. So I can just do this. I'll do 64. I operate in 32 square foot increments just to make it easier. Um, buy antimicrobial agent. 64, done. Those we got. I will um, get what I'm doing here. Paint in light hand texture. Um, that's up to each person. Some people say you can't you can't spot or spot repair texture. It's up to the carrier, you have to construct whoever's doing it. Do what you need to do. So they're just going down the same thing with the walls. Just going down. Again, I operate in 32 square foot increments. That's just how a lot of insurance carriers operate. So that's just what I, my macros are set to. So just going down, editing all that, okay? Here we go. Baseboard. All right, cool. Done with that room. All right. Now we're going to move on to these other rooms here. All right. So hallway here. This is going to be a new room. Now I'm going to get my distance. There's that. All right. I need my width. All right, cool. All right, hallway. Now we got this little weird cut at the end of the hallway there. I'll show you how to do it just to, for the sake of someone not saying I can't do it. <laughs> All right, pull it up here. Activate the vertex.
Whoa. All right. All right, now on to this one. We're going to this little room here. So. Not brake tool. Let me see about right here. Plus. All right. Uh, we got a little closet up here. So we got a break right there. All right. And this we'll grab. Now, you can pop your doors in if you'd like to, do all your stuff, and the door tool in here. Boop. You can select your different types of doors in here, too. Uh, we got bifold. Bam. There you go. Windows, whatever. I'm not going to go into all that, but you can drop the windows all in here, too. Very simple. All right. Done. Name of the room. Call this uh, bedroom. Cool. All right. Subgroup of bedroom. Ooh, all right. And uh, this room, we'll say uh, ceiling fell through. All right. Going to estimating tools, macros, same old thing, just starting from the top. So I do my setup. Contents there. We said the ceiling was damage correct. We'll say it's a full replacement. Just for ease of use here. No light fixture, no recess, no uh, smoke detector. Add. We'll go to walls. I got a walls no. Walls are fine. We're just going to mask and cover them. And I'll go to floor no. Mask and cover. Ah, that room's done. So now, we'll go across. We'll do one last room here bathroom so go on the break tool here how far down are we We got this little closet right here. Yeah, nice little closet in there, huh? All right. And what we're gonna say is wrong with this, when we label it, we'll say, uh, okay, a little, little patch in the ceiling. We'll say there's a little, little tiny patch. All right, that's nothing, nothing's wrong with the closet, so we'll leave that be. Activate it, corner, macros. Set up content manipulation, uh, ceiling, ceiling heavy hand patch. This just does it in a little four square foot because, uh, in the insurance world, we go by four square feet for the patch. And if you look in the line item for a patch, it's, it's four square feet. So, uh, looking at the accessories in there, there's none of that. Add that. Walls, no. Floors, no. But we need a bathroom ventilation. Uh, there's a vent up there. I actually have a macro for this, but if you want, you can search it here too. If you're in service, um, you can get it. But sometimes, you know, when we're running storms and stuff like that, you really uh, can't get service. So that's why another reason why I'm a big pusher of the macros. So you grab it here. If you want to organize it so you don't have to do it later. Uh, yeah. Cool. So that's pretty much it. Simple. I'm not gonna go into super detail and all that, but we just did this whole estimate. Whole estimate. Fought into the photos for each room, but that just gives you a good understanding that this is the way to go. They're they're dumping the money and the resources and time into this, specifically in the uh, 
the iOS, they're not really going to put a lot of money into the Android, but that's why I'm a, another big believer, which I'll talk about in another video about the iPad, but Apple products all day for this stuff. But that's it for the interior stuff, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we do our wrap up and we show you how to close this thing up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Any business inquiries, questions, or support needed, please reach out to the email listed below.